was a start. A start must end. The peaceful protest by some Nigerians in Ottawa focused on the need to end police brutality and wanton destruction of public properties in some parts of Nigeria as a result of the use of violence and infiltration of hoodlums to discredit a peaceful protest by concerned citizens. Nigerians in Canada say Every citizen has a right to demand justice and social reforms in Nigeria, given the current state of inequity in the country. Beyond restructuring and reforming the police, the protesters are also asking for institutional reforms encompassing all sectors of the economy. Stop corruption! Yes. Reform Nigeria! Yes. Restructure Nigeria! Yes. Systemic failure of the generation that has not been born must come to an end. Yes. Those things that divide us must come to an end. Yes. And if you pay attention, they have started coming without gimmick. Yes. They know what divides us. Yes. But guess what? We have bad news for them. This generation does not understand tribalism. This generation does not understand division. They have one focus. Good governance. Most of us don't even know the constitution of our country. We need to go back to our constitution. We address it understand what is there and then we can begin to hold our leaders accountable by the book not just talking i don't think the solution is vandalization be vigilant be vigilant organized by the nigerian canadian association ottawa the protest started with a call on the High Commissioner of Nigeria to Canada, Adenka Ashekun, to deliver a letter with a list of demands to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari. The head of Chancery, Muhammad Ismaila, received the letter on behalf of the High Commissioner. To the Ambassador, to the President. I'm going to read it. We call on peaceful protesters to refrain from violence and from destruction of properties or ways of life. Listen, we ask him to provide our community with a response of the steps being taken in response to the call to hashtag NSAS, hashtag end police brutality, and to hashtag end bad governance in Nigeria. Through reforms, restructure, and to win back the trust of all Nigerians. Do you still trust the government? They have to win back that trust. It's not a joke. We all came here last week. Yes. And we met you know, in the full house here. And they assured us how they told us how uh, 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 they, put it, they put plans in, play, in place for governors to be in charge of the security and all that. Oh, you know, the impression we had when we were living here was that there is a communication between the diaspora, the embassy, you know, and the government back home. So how do you want us to feel now that not up to seven days we came here, people were shot while singing Nigerian National Anthem? As we are here, I expect to get information about what happened. In respect to the commission of inquiry that was set up to look into the death of several Nigerian youths, what is the timeline? 
Because government has to give us the time as to when that commission is going to sit and come up with this recommendation. Yes. No more time for, we are setting up this, we are looking into this. Give us a time so that we can hold you accountable to that. What is the response to the letter we gave last week? Because that's what we're here for. In my, in my address, I said we have already sent the letter to appropriate authorities. We have something new that we are going to update in our website. One important thing we need to do is to strategize. We need to strategize. Enough of complaining about the problems of Nigeria. protest match terminated at the Canadian Parliament Hill where the group deliberated on workable strategies to sustain the demand for meaningful change in Nigeria. The major problem we are having in Nigeria is poverty, good roads, no school, people send their children to school with hard labor after graduation they have no jobs. The elite, 5% of Nigerians are punishing 95% of Nigerians. Their children are in overseas. Everybody is not privileged to come to this part of the world. Take for instance in Canada, you hardly see someone who doesn't have a job. Some people have more than two jobs, some people have three jobs, four. As just work as you can. Once you, you are ready to work, there's a job for you to do. Even if it's cleaner, even if it's anything, there's a lot of jobs here in Canada. So they should build industries, they should build infrastructures that will give people opportunities to, to do the job, to work. There's a budget. What did you spend this money on? You gave a contract for somebody to fix the road over and over and over again. Road one now fix. It promised change, promised a whole lot of things, and none, none of those things has been, you know, uh, done at this point in time. What even, what even provoked people more was he did a presentation, and he, uh, uh, he was even issuing out threats. Here we were working from the Nigerian High Commission here to the Parliament. We had police protection. We had police protection. That is how a sane society works. No mother hen eats up its own chicken. It's not done anywhere. The president, unfortunately, has failed Nigerians. If a government fails its people, then the people should hold the government accountable and there should be consequences for not doing what they are supposed to do. Now, when there is consequences and people begin to understand that if they fail to do their duty, there is consequences, it will break that cycle. All ethnicity, all religion, make us one so that every Nigerian will feel sense of belonging in Nigeria. Remember those who are departed. The protest is the second in the series by the Nigerian Canadian Association, Ottawa.